you cool people, Dan here at Ink Drillers. So uh, I haven't done an interview in a little while. I've been doing that uh, day job thing and it's been kicking my butt tattooing at night. So I've had like minimal sleep, four or five hours a night for the last couple weeks. And uh, sorry to the Facebook people too. I need to get on Facebook and kind of say hi and stuff. I haven't said much since, you know, I left Idaho and came back here. Um, but anyway, so uh, doing a late night, kind of late night tattoo on a gentleman named Corey. And uh, pretty cool Trinity knot with some wings wrapped around it and a halo and stuff. So I was really happy with the way it turned out. So I hadn't done an interview in a while. So I was like, hey, you want to do an interview, bro? And he's like, yeah, sure. So let's talk to Corey, see what he's up to. Boom, there he is. Hey. How's it going, brother? Good, good. <laughs> Had a great time. Did an awesome job with the tattoo. Right on, man. You want to show it? Yeah. Good work. Oh, kind of hard to see, but kind of hard to see. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. all right, man. So, how long have you been out here in the Bakken, brother? Uh, seven years total. Seven years. Can yeah. you believe that, you guys? Seven years out here. So, uh, what do what do you do for a living? I'm a chef. I'm an executive chef for a lodge. So, which is a code for man camp. By yeah, the way. yeah. <laughs> nice man camp, man. How much? You know, if, if we can talk about this stuff. How much did you say it was for a room there? Um, about forty five hundred a month. Forty five hundred a month, and but that comes with. Three meals. Three meals, bed, you know, internet access, cable TV. You get a maid to come do your stuff for yeah. you, you know, clean your room for you. Laundry's included, right? Laundry. They do all your laundry and stuff. Yeah. So I guess 4500 bucks is weird. Uh, I mentioned, I think, before, uh, Time Magazine just rated this the highest rent in America, higher than New York, higher than uh, San Francisco, all those yeah. places. You know, we're number one now. You know, woo <laughs> <laughs> So I guess it's really not that bad for all the services you get. No, there. because you know you rent an apartment, you know, and you pay for food and everything. You're looking at it close to that anyhow. Nobody cleans your house if you're renting it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so you were telling me because we had a chance to talk here, obviously, while we were tattooing and stuff. You've traveled around quite a bit. Yep, traveled the world, did food, learned learned all the culinary aspects of different countries and cultures. And like what places have you been to? Australia, Indonesia, China. New Zealand, Tasmania. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. He, he was telling me about a tattoo he has on his wrist. They did it by hand. It took 17 hours. Yeah. I, I tripped when I heard that because it's just a small tattoo. <laughs> but it was 17 hours long, man. That's just nuts, man. So where's your favorite place on the planet so far? Um, it would have to be Australia. Wrong. Hands down Australia. It's paradise. Yeah. As I was telling him, I was, I've been trying to get out there. Uh, it's one of the places that I really wanted to go. I even had an Australia fund for a while trying to save up until the economy crashed and then kind of went to bills. But uh, I've been chosen to get out that way myself because I just know with all the different animals and the Great Barrier Reef, as we were talking about, you know, there's just tons of cool, yeah, cool yeah. stuff. You were telling me you got to trek across. You did 3,000 miles. Yeah, from Western Australia to Northern Territory. At night, he hiked this. And how long did it take you? Three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but it was awesome, wasn't it? It was worth it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't get bit by anything that killed me, so. Because they got some of the deadliest spiders, some of the deadliest snakes over there. Yeah, world de deadliest place on earth, yeah. Wow, that's just nuts, man. So how much longer do you plan on being up here in the Bakken, brother? Um, two or three more years, and then I'm off to the next camp. So. Right on. He just informed me that the Coeur d'Alene area in North Idaho is getting a camp. Yeah. Uh, I guess they're putting in a rig there. I hadn't even heard that. Had no clue about that. So he might get out there because he, he runs the places. He gets them running for the people. You know, uh, you know, he's the man in charge out there. So he's going to go help him start up another one and bounce around and do all that stuff. You know, and they take really good care of you. Yep, they take great <laughs> care of me. Actually, I always try to give the companies plugs. What's what's the name of the company you work at, for? Atco Logistics and at Structures. Excellent, man. We, we always want to give the companies good plugs. Yeah. Anything you want to tell the people out there about the Bakken area, or you know, uh, it's a tough place, but once you learn learn to set some roots down, it's a good place to be and good money to be had out here. Yep, job in every corner, right? And great sunrises and sunsets. <laughs> we were just talking yeah. about that too. There are some great sunsets. You know, I've seen, I've lived in Arizona, saw some great ones out there. You know, all over the place. But they do got some awesome ones. You've probably seen them on my Facebook. I've taken a couple pictures of them, you know, and posted them just because I'm driving to work. Choo -choo, check that out. That's badass. Yeah. You know, well, hey, thank you very much for letting me tattoo you first off. You bet, I greatly you appreciate it. that. You great work. Well, thank you, man. And uh, good luck to you out here, and hopefully we'll hang out some more. Oh, yeah, you know <laughs> it. I'll be back. So you guys have a good one. I'll try to get up on more interviews. I've just kind of passed them up because I've been tired and stuff, and I know you guys are wanting to see them, so I'll try to get back up on them, okay? You guys have a good one. Peace.